Hey everyone, I am just inside the barn here and it is a nice brisk negative 14. Um, we're in a bit of a winter freeze in December, earlier than normal, but there is no such thing as normal with weather, so I'm um, just kind of taking it in stride. I was going to show you guys what I just installed. For the longest time, um, we always had issues freezing in the barn. We always had water lines freezing. It wasn't an issue when we had dairy because it was warm enough with the heat of the manure inside to keep all the water lines from freezing but now that there's no dairy and it's just beef and i don't want to bring them inside all the time i just kind of have issues with the water freezing so i installed um, a water line a heater line and i'll show you guys what i did here it is here um i put this foam wrap around it to kind of really get it to hold um, it looks like this under only i have tied it with zip ties and the zip ties like this um, originally it said to use electric tape, but there is whitewash all over this pipe, so it didn't want to stick, so we had to use zip ties. Um, I just did this as an extra insulation. I'll just show you guys. That's kind of what it looks like under. I was nervous. Oh, the thermostat is right there. And then that light, you see how it's glowing? That tells you that it's on um, and it's working. I was nervous for a little while there because I was worried it was going to get too hot, but it gets nowhere near hot enough to make any type of uh, issue so far um, also I think it was designed for new <laughs> copper pipe unlike this old steel pipe and old plastic that's thick so at no point is it ever gonna get to a point where it's gonna cook which I was a little nervous about originally and it worked last night I didn't have an issue I literally just brought the the hose out and I had it nice warm water well warm enough where it didn't freeze um as you can see i'm kind of in my phase two of my loading system they're not in here now because they've eaten all the hay and they just want to go for an afternoon stroll but i put that bale in yesterday i typically get three days out of a bale but with this cold weather i don't mind if they eat a little extra because i know that's going to help them insulate and keep warm and keep healthy coats look good little buddy newest calf floating around running around He's in the energetic phase. He thinks he's fast, but it's a cold one out, so. I also got, uh, if you can kind of see here, this thing um, on Good Friday, or not Good Friday, on uh, Black Friday. It's just one of those, uh, they use them for in nature, not nature, in like outdoors and that. It just kind of can be used as anything. It's got a spandex kind of material, but I use it for using straw. Like when I'm throwing straw down, you can throw it over your face and you're not breathing in as much of the crap the other thing too is I always hated the wind blowing down my neck so this is loose around your neck and then this way it's not really blowing at your neck all the time because you can never have a collar that's high enough and a toque that's kind of low enough so that's what I did it's worked out well it's not too tight around my neck that's what I was originally nervous about um, and uh, yeah it's just uh, the hot water heater is working well and uh, just saves me a good 20 minutes. I wish I would have done it two, three years ago, but you never really know if it's going to work or not. A lot of gimmicks in the world, so that's it for us, guys. Take care. Keep farming. I will show you the ducks because I like giving an update. Here they are here. Um, just to kind of give you guys an idea. They like wiggling their tail when they have warm water. They're hoping that I put hot water in. I just put a little straw down here just to keep them warm. And they don't even use it surprisingly um well you guys have got ice on your face but uh yeah that's basically them that's what they do all day enjoy the water and then once the water is done then they nap most of the day i'm hoping i will get to elmira this week i got a couple things to do there um i gotta get layers my layers are getting old so i need new layers so I got to get working on that and then once that's done then I can basically uh, start getting more eggs. My egg production is way down and I don't want it to go down to nothing and have new, no new ones behind them. So got to wait for a warm day because I don't have a tunnel cover and then drive down and grab those layers. So thanks guys. Take care.